Yeah. <laughs> What's on the menu today, buddy? This month we've got old news. Radio frequency to communicate with 19 school buildings. <laughs> Unboxings. Ooh. Don't get the baby. Look at that. <gasps> what does it say? Retro memes. Oh. <laughs> and your homebrew projects. Teslorium. He calls it the really retro arcade machine miniature. Thank you, Devin. We'll also have your nostalgic photos. Welcome to The Retro Shows. No, not a dirty one. It's episode 31. Oh, hello, Chip Divers. Welcome to The, the retro, retro Show. show. Wait, Ooh. dirty one? A dirty diaper. A, a dirty diaper? A nappy. Okay, did she do a wiggle or not? She did a pee. She ate peas? She's not meant to. She's not meant to be on solids yet. She's so just no a widow baby. No wonder she's got a dirty nappy. She's just a widow baby. <laughs> Disgusting. There's no excuse. You're a little baby as well, though. But no, seriously, she can't have solids. It's ridiculous. Well, don't get your knickers in a twist, little Anakin. Oh, you know knickers, Pete. <laughs> you don't know, say panties for that one. You don't, well, you're British, so I was, I was translating it for you. Thank you. And I'm not Anakin. I'm Michael Jedi Knight. Not Michael Nightwalker. No, not Michael Nightwalker. <laughs> I feel like a deja vu feeling here. And this is, of course, Seven of Nine with Horns. Or Maleficent in her casual everyday wear. You are magnificent. You're right. Yeah. Well, enough for shenanigans from us. I think we need to get started with the show. Do you know why I'm Maleficent? Because we have Sleeping Beauty over there. Oh, bless her. She'll never be old news. No. No, but this is. First up, this news. It has been running 24-7 for the past 30 years, controlling the heating and cooling for more than a dozen GRPS schools. This seems like the definition of keeping GRPS warm, safe, and dry. And what is it? Why weren't those funds used to replace this? Uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of projects, a lot of, a lot of needs in the district. <clears throat> um, so there's, uh, there's other priorities that we have to put in place ahead of this. The system is still running. Because we were told it still works. Exactly. So how long do you think Jerk it can keep running? System. Today, tomorrow, who knows? It was so fast. The equipment, yeah. the monitor, the mouse, the hard oh drive, my gosh. everything about it was cutting edge back then. Amiga 2000, this, this isn't an Amiga no. GRPS. That's a Commodore 64. It uses it a radio frequency to communicate with 19 school buildings, telling them when to turn the heat and air conditioning on and off. Oh my gosh. But if it just stopped working, you guys would be in. We look for eBay, which is where this one came from. All right, so that's fantastic. Um, there's also that famous story of a garage that still uses a Commodore 64 to do the engine tuning or the wheel, oh, yeah. wheel calibration or something. Fantastic. Um, from GRPS to GPRS, these texts have started being delivered from T-Mobile oh. to customers in the US who are on 2G networks on flip phones and stuff warning them of the impending 2G network shutdown. The impending doom. Yeah, sadly, April 2nd, it's no joke, 2024. Oh. If anyone does know of any uh, smaller networks that are still broadcasting 2G, I'd love to know, because I'd really, I'd love to keep some of those old phones going. Yeah. yeah. Next up in old news. This blew my friggin' mind. Did you know that this dude, Ducky. who played Dr. Ducky, on your grandmother's favorite police procedural hey. was a musician you know and created like one of the Recently. greatest rap hooks in history. Dude, check it out. David McCallum made this. <laughs> Apparently he just passed away, so well lived my friend. Yeah, rest in peace Scottish actor David McCallum. Passed away recently, aged 90. That's so young. In, uh, yeah, but yeah. he's been on that show for. You're right. But yes, as that guy said, a life well lived. Next up from Snoop Dogg and Choking Dogs to <laughs> I see what you meme. I'll see what he memes. And a very Halloween flavored I see what you meme. So pumpkin flavored? Cute. Tetris guys, they won Halloween and probably won Tetris. 
Mm. We have decided to promote Jim to the position of co-manager. You seen this trailer? I yeah. have to be promoted to co-manager. <laughs> learn your rules. You better learn your rules. If you don't, you'll be eaten in your sleep. Fits so perfectly. The fact that like Dwight is a psycho. Great snowball isn't a snowball at all. It's fear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want it to stop. Poor Jim. Dwight, they're reimagined as a Halloween movie trailer. Is it really reimagined or? <laughs> not really. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I'd like to apologize to uh, the many younglings that I slaughtered uh, when I was Anakin. Um, yeah, I won't, won't go into any more details right now. Me leaving Willy Wonka's chocolate factory with no chocolate and a dead child. Yeah, it's funny because it's true. Now, Ouija's retro, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and all the better classic. There's definitely pee on the floor. <laughs> Lots of pee. Next up on our Halloween special. Hello? 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 Have you seen this trailer for this no. new Halloween movie? But I love it. Interview, say, Monday night at 7.30? Oh, I love to, dear. Showtime. <laughs> I mean, it, it is creepy, isn't it? Yeah. To be with children, and I'll do anything to do that. Listen, I would do anything. I just want to be with him. You know, I need that. So please, don't take kids away from me. You love each other. Norman Bates. Yeah, well, mother. <laughs> His mother. Another classic. They're coming out um, never. <laughs> You'll be pleased to hear. Sorry for ruining the movie. I know. For you. That's okay. Yeah. Another oldie but goodie. Oh. Oh, he's having a seizure. Oh my gosh. I love this guy's reaction. That, he got him. He got me too. <laughs> got everyone watching as well. Wow. Oh, I love that. The classic. Reverse Uno. Yeah. Speaking of classics. <laughs> Don't remember this from the movie. No. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> Get out. Stop. Um, so Good there people. is an Instagram account, I think it's called Michael Myers Does Things mm. or something like that, where it's him just doing casual things around the house. Grocery shopping. Like cooking or like doing maybe, laundry. Maybe the same guys. Could be. Yeah. Very funny. Next up. Wendy's. Oh, Wendy. Oh. What happened to you? Time to, time to update your retro oh, signage, no. Wendy. Oh gosh. That's a little horrifying. No, thank you. <laughs> Wendy. Yeah. Next up from Lampoonery. Our friends at Lampoonery. Yo, get. Stop it. Buddy, let's spin it. Night, night, baby. Oh my gosh. It's Michael Knight, baby. Night, night, baby. Auto cruise on. It's time to be driven. 
Knight is back. Surgical intervention. Revenge. I got on the knight. She fired her gun at my window unwisely. Bullets can be stopped. Oh, nice try, though. Kit's bonded shell, ha. Huh? No good. joke. Try to block my path. And your truck will dismantle. Press turbo boost and Kit aims for the right angle. Bang! Did you expect exhaust fumes? Kit's the car of the future. He doesn't consume. Who's he? Then you check my identity. Michael Knight did not exist until recently. How much of a difference can one man make? Better not find out. God's kit don't break. And if this world of criminals grows, I'll stop it. Grappling hook. Off to jail. You're a convict. Night, night, baby. <laughs> Say that to the I'm Michael Knight, Knight Baby. Of course. He's Michael Knight, Knight Baby. He's Michael Knight, Knight Baby. What'd you say? Say it to the baby? Yeah. Knight, <laughs> Knight Baby. Exactly. All right, that is it for I See What You Mean. Um, Devon, what's coming up next? Unboxings. Oh, that's right. Unboxings. Stay tuned for Unboxing. And no fun boxing would be complete without a visit, a very special Halloween visit, to Harley Fractic and Dr. Harley Frankenstein's laboratory. Fractic Steam. Welcome to my laboratory. Today I'll make history. I will do the impossible and bring this poor guy back to life. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> but when I'm finished with him, he'll be a cyborg. All thanks to PCB Way, where you can get PCB starting at just five dollars. Okay, Fluffy, hit the switch. She's just slapping, not Fluffy. <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! You want to hug my creation? <laughs> Isn't he the cutest thing? Do you want to have a tea party now? Uh-oh. <laughs> How's your tea, monster? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Way. Hold your horses. And that is from Young Frankenstein every time they say Blucher, which means glue in German. Oh, that clip was? That with a horse right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, classic. But we should get rid of the TV. Yes. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we have 60 seconds for each item. We have two items this month. Okay. And I'm going to leave it up to you because I'm going to be filming these. We're not using the stethoscope or whatever it's called this time. Right. We're using the good old fashioned Sony CCD TRV camcorder. Go. What is it? What is it? Oh, get the baby. From Mech DIY. What's in the box? What's in the box? Puppy Fractic, what's in the box? What's in the box? There's nothing. Baby Fractic, what's in the box? What's in the box? Now, when I said it, we have 60 seconds. No, I know. So, uh, you take over camera controls. Jeez, Mac DIY. <laughs> I've unfortunately had to break the box. Maybe it's the only way. We have the Me You, Me and You Linux Games, and it is a retro game device. Just, oh. It's already too well packaged. Oh, cool. Okay, so we've got. Looks like thing. it's a cover. Oh, okay. So it's okay. I thought it was a cartridge. And the thingy itself. Oh, this is lovely. Look at that. Oh, it's got buttons on the back, like a PlayStation. It's very quiet. <laughs> quiet. Let's, let's power it on real quick, see what we can do. <laughs> Turned on the baby. I do like the way this feels in the hand there. Is it worth two in the bush? Sure. Oh, it actually feels great. Yeah. Cute. Oh, thank you. Look at this. Retro Arch, so that's the emulator. Mm. Yes. Oh, look at all the different video game systems. I love this. This is amazing. Um, game Boy? Mm, Neo Geo. Did you have one? I did. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it is Halloween. Let's go for Demon's World. Might have to unbox the baby soon. Team as well, there it is. Please insert coin. Um, where would I put it? I'll tell you where to put it. Oh, this is amazing. 
Well, I have to turn it down. It's so loud. That looks great. I think our 60 seconds is up. Yeah. Yep. Power down. Uh, you can find the link in the description for this and everything that you see in this episode. <laughs> okay, next up. I hope this is a samurai sword. Yes. Do you know what this is? I do. It is. You're very close with samurai sword. She was close, wasn't she? <gasps> what does it say? It's a laser sword. It's Orabesh. It is a Orabesh. Would you like to swap? Because I'm dressed appropriately. There you go. I don't know what it says in Orabesh. If anyone can translate it. I'm sure it'll be in the comments. Ooh. Yes. Toolkit. Oh, that is heavy. Feel it. Feel the way to that. Ooh. Yeah, wow. it feels good. It's Dark Vaders. At some point. I know. That looks gorgeous. Wow. Look at the shine on this thing. Look at the size of that thing, Perry. So this is Anakin Skywalker's laser sword. Michael Nightwalker. <laughs> and Michael Jedi Knight. Um, so they found out that I was Hayden Christensen stand-in on Revenge of the Sith. You were? And so I don't talk about it much. I don't like to talk about it. This is rechargeable. That's awesome. So I'm going to assemble my very own lightsaber very quickly. We don't want the baby to wake up. Let's see if we can get this working. See, that's how it connects. Mm -hmm. Make it so. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's so Star Wars. Glad we're not trying to wake the baby. Basic two. Basic three. Where's the light? Oh! <laughs> Ooh! What color is it now? <laughs> That's very cool. Yeah. I actually don't care that it's pink, but I do just want to give it a little spin. Anakin, Anakin, there's too many of them. What do we have to do? I shouldn't do it. Oh. That's so great. I can't do my no. full move here. Very, very accurate. Yeah. My Disney one takes... My Disney one is, is not as sensitive as that one. Yeah. We all... See, it's force sensitive. Yeah. Don't wake the young ones. Don't wake the young ones. Oh, that was a very uh, exciting, uh, fun boxing. Yeah. Now it is time for home brews. Hmm. just like for those younglings. I do keep wanting to reach for that. <laughs> okay, this is fantastic. This is the Ooh. Ghost Hunter. It is a miniature retro arcade machine made by Shane Bevin. He calls it the really retro arcade machine miniature. And he says it's based on one of the first arcade games I ever played, a pivotal moment in my life, we've all been there, that sent me down the path of digital art and design. And looking at this, I think we are glad that it did. That's so cool. Yeah. He also did the music, which I told him was very fitting. Yeah. On, on Garage Band, of all things. Really? Yeah. Very cool. That detail. I love it. I never played Ghost Hunter, did you? No. It was obviously a traditional arcade machine. Fantastic. And speaking of time traveling back to old arcade machines and old times, look what's been seen out and about here. Can you tell what it is? It's a Delorean. It's a... Teslorian. Teslorian, yeah. I think he's out of time. <laughs> We're almost out of time. Mm. I love when they have all the sound effects oh, yeah. queued up and works when you break. 
the spot welding because that's how Doc yeah. put it together. Are you serious? <laughs> Look at all the guys yeah. that have flocked to it. What's up? That is freaking Where did they all come from? I Doc, love that. It's the, he's <laughs> using the X. Yeah, for the gullwing doors. Flux capacitor. And the car plays the Amazing. And the, what's the juicer's name? Mr. Fusion. Mr. Fusion. Nice. TMC? How he did the front. Yeah. And do you have a TMC stands for? Like Tesla Motor Car? Yeah. Tesla Motor Company. TMC is usually on the front there. Yeah, it's on the back too. I saw it when he drove by. Brilliant stuff. And that is the end of our home brews. That wasn't mm. that scary, actually, was it? That's no, the... but it was. It was very fitting because it was a Tesla dressed as a DeLorean. Fancy dress. We don't call it that, but okay. What do you call it? We'd say a Plain costume dress party. Up. Like a fancy dress party, we'd call it a costume party. Makes sense. It's a party and you wear a costume. And we, we would call dressing fancy is what you would call dressing smart. So when Michael Knight dressed as Brett, as Rhett, a butler, he was in fancy dress. Costume, he was, yes. Because he was fancy. Well, because he was in a costume. I might need to move back to England. Um, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> but, yeah, before I do that, would you like a nice, delicious, tasty bowl of nostalgia flakes? Mmm. And first up, of course... The gallery. So what's this? Commodore 64 in Martin Russell's classic Commodore Corner. So cute. It's a good photo. This is Victoria, and she says Arbeiten, which means work in German. Oh, she's doing her work. Arbeiten. Very busy baby. Now, this is from last month, uh, my friend Paz's place. Paz actually emailed us oh. and said he hasn't seen Mike Webster for decades. Oh. And do we have a way to get in touch? And of course, Mike had sent us this photo. He did. But I just deleted the email. I couldn't be bothered. Wow. No, so I put them both in touch, and Paz and Mike are now reunited as friends. What are the odds that they both watch the show? I love it. I absolutely love it. And this is... The Retro Room. By Scott McKay. There's no There's R's, no in, R's that. in that. Rather pleased with himself with his Amiga 500 Plus there. Surrounded by mahogany and denim. The and 90s. Dad. Denim and dad. Another pleased chappy here. Wearing a leather tie and typing on rubber keys. He's not wearing the rubber keys. I love it. I love. It. I I just love this segment. I do too. Yeah, I, I enjoy the memes and all the silly stuff, but um, for me, this is the nostalgia is what it's all about. And also bringing people together. Yeah, that's so special. I love that. Uh, you guys, let us know in the comments, and um, if I see it there, I'll, I'll pin the comment. Let us know how you're getting on. Maybe you're going to reunite over an Amiga Classic game. Next up, Lampoonery are back again with Fast and the Furious meets Night Rider. Calling. Devin, it's a little late to still be up. Michael, could you explain how you resolved the situation with Toretto and the local police? Michael, you coming in or what? Yeah, sorry, Dom, right behind you. Who the hell invited this cheat? I didn't cheat, pal. Brian. Hey, Brian. What, Hannibal? This is Toretto's house, right? Yeah. Vince has a crush on my sister, Michael. <laughs> Michael, what's with the questions? You a cop or something? No, Brian, I'm not a cop. I'm a PI working with Rogers Trucking. What have I got myself into? String. We were told not to rendezvous until yes. tomorrow. Airwolf. We were wondering when Airwolf put it there. Let's get out of here before they override Another the lock. Another fantastic theme song. Why don't you like and subscribe to Lampoonery? There you go. Help out Lampoonery yeah. and check out the full version. It's about three or four minutes long and there's much more Airwolf stuff. But speaking of Airwolf, that will be back next month in their installment of Lampoonery's... I mean, they can't call it Fast and Furious meets Night Rider anymore because it's 18 meets Airwolf. It's everything we love. It's the 90s meets the 2000s. The 80s meets... The, the Xenials meet the Millennials. We'll stop just naming decades now. <laughs> I believe she's Gen Alpha now. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what an alphabet is. Now it makes sense. Uh, speaking oh, of alphabets, when, and speaking of R's, oh, 
Speaking of arms that are backwards, as the lightsaber powers off. Oh my gosh! From that toy to Toys R Us. Wait. <gasps> Foul play. He's gonna kill that baby. That's that's Michael Knight's new girlfriend. Oh, that's right. For those of us that don't get the reference, a couple of weeks ago we watched Halloween Night together in a reaction video, and you guys watched us watched it with us, watching us watching it uh, in our first episode of a new series called The Retro, Retro Reactor. Reactor. And in it was this little clip of a gorilla. And it caused Bonnie to basically fall over, <laughs> which is what happens to me every time I try and use an old phone. You know, I know she didn't dial 911 because if you dial 911 and you don't respond or you hang up, not only do they call you back, but they will show up at your door. Or it's a fictional TV show Maybe that it she wasn't plugged in. Dialed 91555. Oh, yeah, that she will get very far with that. 999. Yeah. 999. No, no, no. Yeah, you can get far with that over is, here. Is nine one one in the UK? But if you're ever confused and you're in any country, dial one one two, and that's the international emergency number. I didn't know that. Now you know. Wow. The more you know. Well, from emergency numbers and uh, murderous gorillas, it's time for us to get out of here. Um, I should just check in with Harley Fractic from the game closet. See what she's doing right now. <gasps> Trick or treat, Harley Fractic. Oh, have fun. Bye. Bye. Bye live broadcast and it is time for us to go trick-or-treating as well we hope you enjoyed this halloween visit to the retro, the retro show. show as always thank you so much for watching subscribe and support below and cheerio, cheerio. Whoa, cheerio. one man can make a difference perry or one woman or dog the fractics lone curators in a vintage world the world of retro recipes.